I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm embarrassed by, by our opening. <laughs> and Sam is not here today, so of course it's just me and Anthony. And uh, is your mic on? Is this on? Hold on, make sure I turned you on. Oh, uh, you're on, yeah. Oh, I didn't pot you up. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> That's better. How you See, it's not that easy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, steered it right into an iceberg. Fucking <laughs> <Like a> boo. <laughs> Quiet, idiot. <laughs> Uh, I would be embarrassed though of this uh, this opening. Yeah, it yeah, started yeah. ironically. We just did it to be like shitty and like this will be yeah, awful. Well, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> but then it just becomes the intro. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it works for a morning uh, radio show. It does, yeah. Yeah, I, I got up. It was nighttime. There was still nighttime out when I woke up to come here because I was out on Long Island. I didn't stay in. Oh, you didn't stay in the city. So I had to get, get on the train. But like I, when I take the train, it's usually off peak. And now it was it was just full, and I was annoyed with everybody. I just really am not a people person. Surprise. Huh? <laughs> well, you used to it now because you're taking fucking uh, after work. You're done by six. Yeah, it's like nothing. It's 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 great. It's two hours. And I was looking at people, and and I, I was like, they do this every day, and I understand the hardship of that. And I'm like, look at what I did when I could choose when I wanted to work. I said four to six p.m. Yeah. And for and because it's too much, four days a week. <laughs> what a lazy piece of shit! <laughs> You're a man of leisure. A man of leisure. So, uh, um, four to six is a perfect. That seems like a really fun schedule. That's what so many it people have appealing. asked me too. Like when you did that, what did you have? Did you do any studies? Did you did you look and see when people would listen or test anything? I'm like, no, I could be up by four to work. And after six, I could still hang out and, you know, go out. What time do you typically get up? Uh, oh, wow. Like, like um, around noon? Noonish is okay. good. Yeah. Sometimes. Monday, Monday, <laughs> Wednesday, and Friday, I have my trainer. So that's at 1130. Okay. So I have to get up earlier for that. Um, but given the opportunity, I just I will get bed sores. I will stay in bed. I do not care to wake up and do anything. You do it Friday too. See that to me like the day off, the fucking first day. I don't have to wake up. I never want to get up and do anything. No, it's because Thursday night I'm up so late that I sleep in Friday. I don't sleep because I I went to sleep at eight p.m. the night before, and then I sleep until all hours. Yeah, I'm up until probably. Four or five a.m. Well, you have a trainer on Friday, on a nightly basis. Yeah, yeah, I do. So I wake up early on oh. on on Friday, but it's not, early. Isn't early? It's eleven o'clock. Yeah. So even if I go to bed at five, it's it's enough hours. But if I'm on the road, I'm on the road. I go to bed like six, seven in the morning. It's fucking horrible. There are it's little the, sleeping habits. I, I'm the worst. <laughs> I am the. I woke up this morning refreshed after I went to bed at like tw- uh, right before twelve last Ooh. night. Woke up at seven and I felt like I dozed off eight minutes ago. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, it reminded me a little bit of when I used to do mornings right here. Uh, do you and miss the hours? It, it, no. <laughs> I, well, I was like, how the fuck did I do this? Like, they literally had to pile tons of money at me so I would wake up. And even then, I missed a few. Yeah, yes, I, I remember. <laughs> I remember the Kenny calls, hi, <laughs> Anthony, it's six o'clock. <laughs> and then you have that panicky, you, you're, you're already late and you're still in bed 30 miles uh. from the biggest city in the world. And there's going to be more traffic on a <laughs> yeah. fuck, at that hour than there would have been at 5 a.m. Yeah, and I'd be, you know, driving in. But it was cool. Everybody was cheery when I got here. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I was really happy that you'd walk in, too, because we were having such a good time. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Now I can join the fun. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, join the fun. Not be looked at. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> Just shitty toxic a cloud of, of fucking doom. Exactly. Quiet. <laughs> it's fun. Some men are going to do some joking. <laughs> Clear the field, Norton. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I, I try real hard to, uh, when we come in, in the morning, to not have any tension. Like, you know, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a job. But I, I always say to myself, don't do this. Don't be like that. Don't be that fucking asshole that, that there's always a problem. Don't no. do it. You could really take a, a step back, look at everything and go, yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> this is a pretty good gig. And uh, and you go in and you know you're going to be having fun. When I'm uh, doing my show, it's fucking hanging out with Artie Lang. Yeah. And we're laughing our asses off and other comics are there. And, and the staff is fucking awesome. There's no one that I walk in and dread like, oh, fuck, 
you know, what 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 is the, that going to be like today? Your show is good too, man. It's Anthony and Artie, of course, uh, four oh, to six. You. Compound media. It's amazing. You took that from like just your basement and you built this 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 network where you got fucking like a different show. Like you're the boss. I know it's crazy. I I really can't accept that either because no. people do. They go, hey, boss, and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Please, I don't want to be the boss. Do you push it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope the people understand this is going to be a thread through the uh, yes, at least the do. first hour. Yes, you do, Joffrey. Have some wine. <laughs> oh Christ! Enough. Oh. Christ, at it exactly. If <laughs> you're fucking frowning, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it is weird though. It's um, and we're getting new shows coming on uh, after the new year. A couple of more, uh, news oriented. Uh, girl, you know, gonna get a a, oh, a, a, really? la- a lady on board. Have you announced it or now, no? Okay, not, not what kind of show yet? Like a, a news uh, okay. type show, public uh, like news, uh, current issues and things like that. But. Uh, a, a lady, a lady's take on the whole thing, and she's been around uh, <clears throat> some of the um, network news shows and stuff, so it's uh, pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll let you I'm know. gonna. Uh, yeah, I think I already. I'm, I'm gonna guess. I, I I won't say it. Oh. oh this, does it does her oh. name begin with? That's the first name. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think she'll be really good. Uh, I hope it's the same one. Uh. And the and the second. What's the on. second name? Oh no. You, wait. Just, it's just my. Uh... Oh no no. Oh it, no. It's 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 a. Uh, oh. It's the, the it's it's this. Oh okay. Yeah yeah. yeah. Okay I w- I thought okay I, I guess <laughs> Megan Kelly I was wrong. <laughs> yeah Megan Kelly. That, <laughs> that was my guess. Yeah we just have a few million laying around for uh for that. I think she's she's not doing well though. Nobody gives no, a fuck about her show. She's really not. She's uh where where is she the Today Show or something? I think One so. of those uh, yeah. things. She went off off of Fox. Fox is its own little island. Yep. And uh, it's different than a lot of the other mainstream media. So when you leave there, it does not necessarily mean you're going to do well uh, in the the pool of liberal media. She you know? stood out there. I thought she was great and she was fucking yeah. tough. And I loved her. And now it's like, who cares? Yeah, I saw some clip uh, last week or the week before, and she was uh, she was up dancing. Like doing that whole thing to try to, you know, get, get something going when they have to dance. Yeah, it's no oh. good. Ellen pulled it off, though. Let's be all kidding aside. Oh, 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 I love an Ellen dances. Oh, do you? I do. <laughs> it's good natured. It's fun. I can't stand. Do you like when she picks uh, somebody else in the crowd that she wants to fucking muff dive on? <laughs> <laughs> Gives a secret little dance like birds. <laughs> Just start fucking show their plumage. <laughs> That's what she she really does. She starts like bumping uh, asses with some of the ladies. Uh, uh, in the audience. Yeah, I know. How is that not harassment? That's a problem. I would think. I, I think that's a problem. I, I'm, I, I'm starting to think everybody is uh, up for a sexual harassment charge or something because uh, it, it, all it takes is an allegation. And I think if you look at everyone's life, especially not in the context of 2017, everyone has done something sure. that could be considered, even if it's, you know, uh, addressing a, a girl's clothing or something like that. Oh, that's nice. Hey, you look great today. Ah, Jeffrey Tambers. I, I, he might leave. Uh, he might leave. Yeah, um, I heard he was transparent leaving. because the, his assist. I don't know what happened with the assistant, but the, what he what he did with the other woman uh, who plays a yoga instructor. I've only seen season one. It was. It didn't sound like it was that bad. He fucking. She said he made a couple of comments like, you know, ooh, I want to have sex with you, like, but in front yeah. of people, like, being over the top. But then she said she was standing there and he kind of dry humped her. But he said he was, I guess he was kidding. Guys but, are just fucked up. But it came off as like, he was trying to be funny, I guess, but it didn't come off as funny. It came yeah. off like he's a 72 year old guy dry humping you. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a little creepy. There's a weird thing, in, especially in Hollywood uh, and Washington, because they, they have that power and the media uh, where, you know, you, I think you just completely forget that you're not supposed to act like that. Yeah. In in social settings. I think these people have been told yes their whole lives and how amazing they are and how everyone loves them that they honestly believe they could just go up and start humping people. And I don't honestly, like you just said, I don't think that's the worst thing no. that anyone's done. I, I, I've seen that happen uh, plenty of times. Uh, but, you know, today, oof. 
Getting fired in 2002, it, it has prevented me from having so many problems today. <laughs> you think, you think? Yeah, because young, eager, fucking couple of years in the radio, Jimmy Norton thought that we were untouchable, and the yeah. business went, oh, no, you're not. Yep. And that firing convinced me that I'm replaceable. It made me, like, I can get fired from any gig I have. I have been fucking paranoid at work for 15 years about yeah. fucking up and possibly getting fired. That's a, that's a, a, a Yeah. I, I absolutely agree with you on that one. Uh, when we came back to satellite radio and almost fucked it up within weeks of being there with the homeless guy, whatever that was, um, uh, oh, hom- homeless Charlie. No, he was. Uh, when did homeless Charlie happen? That wasn't. Uh, that was no. That was two thousand six. That was the merger when they, the merger was happening. Oh, the merger was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was me. You. It was Obi Anthony. Me. Uh, Bill Burr. And I yeah. forget who else was in studio that day. And, uh, yeah, that guy, the homeless guy came in, and we were like, wow, Satellite, satellite Radio is a great right. place for just l- let this homeless guy voice his wacky, nutty opinions. Yeah. And he started going off about raping the Queen of England. And yeah. The, Who is the, that Bush bitch? Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. talking about, uh, he sounded like that dumb character I do. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> he, started, he, he was talking about, Who is that Bush bitch about Laura Bush? Yeah. He was to rape the Queen. Laura Bush and uh, Condoleezza Rice. That's and right. Con- yes. Oh, and, that's what he meant. I think that's what he was talking about, Condoleezza Rice. Yeah. yeah. And it was just, uh, like, we were laughing because it's, it's here's a crazy homeless guy. And we we got called in. They started getting complaints. And uh, Reverend Al started chiming in. And it was, we were just looking at each other like, are you fucking kidding? Are we going to blow this again? Suspended. We were suspended for a month. A suspended <laughs> the sentence. You <laughs> Panero <laughs> sat there like a fool. <laughs> so we, for a month, we got suspended for a month. And uh, K-Rock, K-Rock, who apparently other agents are talking to, uh, we we uh, we got <laughs> really we um we got put uh, we were on K Rock and that was the only thing that saved the uh, show was yeah. fucking K Rock because remember uh, satellite booted us for a month. Yes, yeah, we were suspended, and then uh, yeah, yeah. I was going home and watching Lost at the time. That was when I caught up on Lost. We would do K Rock, and instead of walking over to XM. We could we had the month off. We would just go home by nine in the morning. Yeah. I'm like, this is fucking oh, it was, great. It was awesome. I was going home eating fruit salad and watching <laughs> Lost. That was my days for a month. But that was when I was uh, when I when K Rock tried getting rid of me. K Rock yeah. wanted me off the show because they thought I was the problem with the oh, ratings. Right. And uh, after that, when we were just desperate to hang on. Then, then I started doing fucking. Uh, I just was coming in five days again. They was yeah. coming. They had me down to three days a week, where it was which uh, was ridiculous. It was stupid, but I didn't care. I was I was when I was warming up for Monster Range, so I was going away doing fucking. Uh, I would do like Sun uh, Thursday through when, uh, Sunday, and just come back in and do fly home Monday and do Tuesday through Thursday with you guys. So it actually worked yeah. out okay. That's when I knew I needed to go to. A Tom Chiasano for a justice. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tom Chiasano was one of the oh, ones. Oh, he was one of the bad Absolutely, guys. yeah. He fucking, uh, he was one of the ones I think that was gunning for me. So, I, but, but anyway, after that, uh, we got suspended. I just started coming in again, and there was no more talk of it. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. K-Rock was worried we were going to get fired. Do you remember uh, Anthony's completely sincere apology? Yeah, it was really good. Um, <laughs> it, but it was not right on K-Rock's airwaves. It was, uh, I wish we, it? we have it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh God, do I want to hear God. that. Yes. See if you can tell how sincere he is. This was wh- when we came back from being suspended for... Yeah. This was on satellite, but it didn't play... It did not play on... Um, on K-Rock. K-Rock. It didn't have to. We weren't suspended from there, so... I think I think it it was on both. Really? No, I, we did it at K-Rock. I don't believe <clears throat> it was played on... Uh, although, was it? I don't know. I feel like you guys did two apologies. I feel like you <laughs> apologized at K-Rock Waddle on the doodle. top of the show... And then when we went over to XM. Bone dry. <laughs> what a noodle. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> All right, here it is. All right. Good morning. Oh, I got to take this opportunity uh, first. <gasps> Right off the bat here. Could you pause? Uh, Did you have an opportunity you wanted uh, to take? Uh, you got to take this uh, opportunity. Like it I wish itself. I had cyanide to take <laughs> instead of opportunity. That is really, you could tell right away I, I have. Right away. This was written for us. Oh, yeah. Obviously. I'm not going to sit there and pen yeah. an apology. Well, I know it was written for you because I remember you crumpling up the paper and That's right. throwing it away after you Yes. <laughs> that was yeah. the indication, was the crinkle of the paper. I think you can hear it on the air. I don't remember correctly. They, I remember watching you do it. Yeah. They told us we had to apologize. Ugh. Got to take this opportunity uh, first, <laughs> right off the bat here, uh, because of things that have happened, of course. 
have to apologize to public officials for comments that were uh, made on our XM show on May 9th. We uh, take very seriously the responsibility that comes with our creative freedom and uh, regret any offense that the segment that uh, we're talking about uh, has caused. So uh, definitely apologize for that. Oof. So, uh, uh, yeah. I definitely apologize uh, for that. I want to take this opportunity. Ugh. But you had to, though. Like, that, that saved I the show. Yeah, I, I was livid. I was saying that was on K Rock, too, obviously. Yeah, but that uh, yeah. saved the show. Yeah. I mean, that, that saved the show. That dumb moment right there is what uh. finally allowed the. Because I remember it was on Breitbart, and uh, it, the headline yeah. read, uh, Will this affect the merger? And that was oh, the fucking. Yeah, oh. then, yeah, we're like, oh boy, uh, throw that show away, or, you know. Weigh it out. The huge merger that was taking place. Yeah. That had to actually get federal approval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're standing in the way. Yeah, we're going to stand by our guys here. Screw the merger. And we were all just laughing at fucking Homeless Charlie, who was funny, yeah. by the way. And I would still it's laugh hilarious. at him if he came back in today. He was a hoot, that guy. He really was. <laughs> that was a laugh riot. <laughs> Great timing. Yeah. What a weird time, man. That was a fucking weird time. Going home at 9 a.m. was what was so weird about it. Just yeah. being finished at 9 o'clock. And I kind of, uh, I kind of, I liked it. For, yeah, I mean, having, yeah. Knowing we were coming back on in a month and Eric Logan saved us, but he couldn't, uh, he couldn't save us from that month's suspension. Yeah, n- knowing that we were okay and we were going to be coming back was really cool when we were done at 9. <laughs> do you remember the walk? I mean, for, do you remember? The walkover, oh. for those people that, that don't, that were like just serious people. Uh, subscribers, we did the walkover. It was just so much fun. That 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 five minute walk from yeah. uh, K Rock to uh, to XM, and then that, that fucking pushing a cart, like Danny or whoever would push or Than would push the cart that a had the equipment in it that had like satellite equipment, something to uh, like microwave equipment, uh, yeah. so they they could broadcast uh, us uh, while we walked from one block to it another. Was it was one like, block. It was like one city block. And uh, just whatever was happening on the streets, we would comment about it. Patrice would be there, and whatever other comic was uh, was on the show that day would be there. Jimmy would go to the newsstand and try to buy black oh, inches. Oh, gay porn. Yeah, gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> Buy black, gay porn. Honcho and yeah. black inches. Yeah, honcho I think went under, but hopefully black <laughs> inches is still going strong. That's right. In Voss would yeah. run into Starbucks and do those comedies. Yeah, and- yeah. And uh, cakes would be destroyed. <laughs> oh, no, that, that's right. I earned a cake. Oh, poor Andrew. Oh, poor, poor Andrew. <laughs> poor fella. <laughs> wonder how he's doing. You know, I wonder uh, whatever happened to him. He, there was one day he just disappeared. Maybe he moved or maybe he went somewhere warmer. Or, you know, yeah. Oh, well. Hope he's okay. He probably uh, doesn't have a job either. <laughs> you think he's probably also uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. bitter at everybody? <laughs> Facebook show. <laughs> oh, God, we're pathetic. I just had it. <laughs> we're pathetic. I just had it. We have. <laughs> yeah. Dunsky. Yeah. Enough. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Manson died. Oh, Fucking my Manson. God. Dude, poor, I found out today by a poor tw- Manson. I know. I like his earlier work. Yeah. Uh, he became a hack at the end, but his earlier <laughs> yeah. stuff, you know, he was cutting infants out of the fucking womb. <laughs> His, uh, I, re- I realized today, uh, because I saw a tweet, that's how I, I, I didn't, uh, I don't check their news. Uh, Megan, uh, Amram, do you know who she is? She's a really funny follow on Twitter. And she tweeted, upside to Charles Manson's death, we get a new candle in the wind, which I thought was very <laughs> oh, funny. <God. laughs> that is very good. So, uh, Manson is gone. Yeah, 83 years old. You know, I, I don't know. When, when you say, uh, uh, life in prison without the possibility of parole against the death penalty, you know, do you think Charles Manson was really that that bad off in prison for 83 years? I know he took a beating once and, you know, but he lived out his life. He got uh, uh, three three square meals a day. Yeah, three Played hots in a cot. Three hots in a cot, roof over his head. Uh, and he lived to, you know, pretty good age, 83. How much time did he do before? this? We talked about this the other day. How much time did he do before the murders? He had done time in prison first. I don't mm. know how much it was. Someone said, was it, was it like 15 or 20 years he had done or 10 years? Really? Yeah, he had done a decent amount of, of time in prison. And then he can't, got out and he, he proved that he was not going to be a good boy. And he wasn't. <laughs> he right back he wasn't in. very good, yes. No. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's, uh, that's fucked up, though. 83 years old, and that was his life sentence. What did he die of? <laughs> Um, Do you have cancer, a heart problem? What 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 did they say? They just said natural, natural causes. I think just old. Oh, just an old guy. Just an old guy. He died of being eighty three. Yeah, 
But it's like, you know, you get some people that are just amazing and good to the world and they drop dead at 30. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, he's... and then, you know, you get this guy, 83 years old. There is no God. I know. And then he sent Roman Polanski off into a spiral. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm grieving. How old are you? Get in the hot tub. <laughs> Fucking creep. <laughs> Uh, it is funny though, with with like Hollywood kind of doing this purge, and some guys are yeah. just fucking disgusting. There's guys in Hollywood who are just, oh, yeah. and everywhere that you look at, you're like, oh, yeah. like that person's a complete piece of shit. How is Roman Polanski of all these people, all these other allegations? How is this guy not being uh, shamed into they, not movie making? They love him, him, and uh, you know Woody Allen's another piece of shit. Think about that. But he's, he's only had one. And I think that the I say I've only one. Let me say stepdaughter. Let, let me let me let me um let me amend this. He's only had one. I don't mean like he's only allegedly molested one five year old. I, yeah. I mean, but I mean it's like this. It's my word against your type thing. Yep. And uh, the other stepdaughter he married. So, but but that's kind of that's the weird part. I think. Yeah. I don't even think the molestation part that the uh, that is alleged is the weirdest part. It's the. The actual, he married his his stepdaughter. To me, I always thought that was a career saving move. You think? I, yeah, I, always, I mean, maybe he loved her, but I always thought that was a career saving. Like I got caught doing something bad, and like I gotta save it, and this will save it. Well, back then, I guess it could have. Nowadays, you're done. Now you're oh. you just seems you're done. Well, it's going to be interesting to see who comes back from all these things. Like some people, I honestly believe will come back. I think Louis. Yeah. Is you know what Louis. Everyone can kind of grasp on to what Louis did. Well, no, not, not <laughs> literally. <laughs> grasp on. Uh, we, we've seen him. He's a funny stand-up. People get something from him, like, like uh, again, yeah, everything exactly. I say. Uh, uh, you know, you go to one of his shows, you're laughing. Yes, people you, are not going to dress like it's Gallagher on stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can't, but you, you see, like, a, a producer or something. You're so removed from that. Most people don't even know what or care what a producer does. It's Harvey Weinstein. You just see this fucking monster walking around. Uh, so I think Louis will do fine. I think in time, people just like what Louis does. He's a likable guy, and I think he'll be fine in time. And plus, if this is all, it seems like this is all there is. If this is all there is, and uh, it's all over ten years ago, and he thought he was getting, uh, th there's ways for him to come. Even though, like, yeah, all right, it's kind of creepy at work, but but it's like he's still a fuck. He's not a rapist. He's not yeah, an abusive yeah. guy. I don't think he looked at it like he was making victims out of people. No, he just, no. He just went with the words. I asked, and she said, yes, that's Louis' autism. You know, he said, he said, <laughs> can I do this? And she went, yes, and I did it. You know, for him, the literal the literal yes and no of the words right, meant everything. Right, right. <laughs> that, that is just, uh, what an awkward thing to want to do. It like, is weird. I, I think it's something, if you've been in a relationship for a while, and and there's this uh, mutual masturbation thing, and it goes along with other stuff. Maybe I don't sure. know, but but just to say, hey, pleased to meet you. I'm gonna pull my dick out now and and start pounding on it. It, it just seems a little weird. I, I'm not an exhibitionist though. Like I'm uh, I'm more of a voyeur. Like I'd rather wa I, I don't yeah, know, yeah. I don't know the like I don't feel naughty with a girl watching me jerk off. I just feel embarrassed. Like completely naked. Forget I, it. He got completely naked, dude. I jerked off <laughs> recently with a girl and a fucking uh, like a little video thing, yeah. and fucking oh, uh, I still because I come far. I'm digressing here, <laughs> but I fucking <laughs> I dude. I always put it because I don't want to show my little gut. It's not that much, but uh, you know it's a, it's it's a fucking bit. So I lift up my uh, my shirt so I don't come on it. I put a t t it's the unsexiest thing, but I'm so embarrassed even to this day about my body that I have to have a fucking like a, a paper towel so you'll know I'm gonna come when I put uh, like a, a little. Uh, Two oh. paper towels on my chest. It's Just tie a lobster bib around your neck. <laughs> Jack off. No, that's when she's gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, what a what a weird thing to do though. Want to wanting to jack off in front of uh, yeah, I don't get it. Like I, I just don't. I don't understand. Yeah, but yeah. I don't see it as being all that uh, creepy. And yeah, and another thing, like when two girls come up to a fucking hotel room like that. I don't know. I think they want something to not sexual, maybe or something. But I think there's a quid pro quo going on uh, when they come up to the room like that. Maybe sometimes I don't know them, and I don't know what they were doing. It's a little early in Louis's career at that point. He wasn't like like famous Louis, right? But still, I think these two girls probably thought it would be good for them. 
to go up there. Now, what are they getting out of it? I don't know, but they must have thought something. And then there's Louie going, well, I know what I want out of it. I want to jack off in front of these girls. Were they doing something like, like, oh, my God, I can't believe he's going to do that. And then he's thinking, like, yeah, they want to watch me. Because this time's like, as guys, we delude ourselves. Yeah. Like, we read the signals wrong. Like, they're, they're being, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, was... they're uncomfortable and, like, what the fuck's he doing? Like, yeah, go ahead. Ooh. Or, or whatever <laughs> yeah. they're doing. And he's like, oh, God, they're enjoying like, are, are we fucking misreading each other sometimes? Like, there's been yeah. times where I've... I've uh, I think we do misread signals a lot. And I, I, you know, I've been talking about this recent. Like, when you look at fucking how old people got together. Yeah. How, you know, uh, the woman would go like, oh, I never wanted to go out with him, but he was just so persistent. And I wound up going out with him. And uh, next thing you know, I married him. That's how your grandparents met. Talk to your fucking grandparents about how they met. It wasn't, it's not a nice, like, yeah. oh, you know, I, I we both had uh, mutual respect for each other. It was... Uh, you know, I didn't know. I said no to him at first, and then he took a metal lunchbox and hit my boyfriend <laughs> in the teeth. And I said, all right, I'll go out with him. It's like the notebook, that yeah. cock block film. <laughs> She's on a date with this guy, and that fucking cock blocker is coming up and hanging on the Ferris wheel and yeah, not picking yeah. up on the signals. You're interrupting and ruining something. So I don't know. Maybe he just misread, and maybe he thought that they were enjoying watching him tug but, his penis. But I think uh, in a lot of these instances that we're seeing people being accused of, of harassment and... and uh, a behavior that is uh, so in, inappropriate. I really think these girls are kind of laughing and stuff. I know one of the girls from from Fox News. She she was actually on uh, on I think one of the network news shows talking about her run in with Harvey Weinstein. Was that Lauren? Uh, yeah, Lauren. And and when she tells the stories and told the stories over the course of years to her friends, it was one of the funniest stories you'd hear. Because she was telling it like, and this fucking guy pulls his dick out and he's doing that. Like, it, it only becomes this serious thing when the woman wants it to be a serious thing. And it always seems like there's some purpose behind it. I don't know. I think he's a creep motherfucker. I think he did a lot of nasty shit. Uh, but I think a lot of these women in, in a lot of these instances just... They thought it was funny, too, at the time. Some of them might, yeah. Goofy. He was rapey, though, I think. I'll say that with oh, an I asterisk. Think so. I, I think, think. I think so. Remember we interviewed him? Yeah, and yeah. And he sent us the email thanking us for a good time and a lot of laughs. Yeah. <laughs> what a shock were the two he gets along with. <laughs> I know. That was, that was uh, yeah, I, I totally forgot we had uh, we had interviewed him. What's up, Ari Shafir? Yeah. How are you, buddy? Ari! How you doing, man? Yo, crew. Good to, good see, to see you, man. How are you? Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty good. How Sit down. You? Got the winter wear on. Oh, yeah. I can't stand this. It's already way too cold. I can hate it. It's nighttime when you get up. <laughs> We're just <laughs> talking about fucking fucking... nighttime. It's six, uh, four, like 4 p.m. It's it's getting dark out. I like that, though. I hate it. Because I'm shady and I'm a seedy individual. <laughs> yes. So you, you like darkness. Enjoy getting yeah. up in the cover. Yeah. I, I, li I like the cover of darkness. I really do, I don't man. like anything dark. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Anthony's a summer guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love it. Fucking, uh, I, I like getting up when it's pitch black, and I like when it's four o'clock. It's dark. I really? Just, yeah, I don't like uh, the cold, but I love the fucking shadiness of, of it just being dark and uncomfortably uh, secretive. I don't mind nighttime dark, but morning dark just seems like what the fuck are you doing with your life? Well, I'm, I'm wrapped in that? shame. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. wrapped. I'm, I'm wrapped oh, okay. in a cloth okay. of shame. <laughs> You're like a big mozzarella stick wrapped in, <laughs> in shame. shame yeah. Of, 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 yeah. Bolognese or something. <laughs> so I like it. I like it dark, and I can just kind of. Uh, you know, be secret. I don't know. Sneaky. After th like three hours of afternoon darkness, when I look outside and think it's been dark for three hours, and the sun would still be up in the and summer, the sun, and I could oh, be out yeah. by the pool or something, hanging out, having fun. But I'm inside, you know. Fuck that. Don't you wish your jacuzzi was year round? Yeah, I fucked up uh, you when I you installed can't get it. it. No, it's all tied in plumbing wise to the pool, oh. so everything has to be shut down in the winter, and then everything gets opened up in the, in the spring. Because it goes into the. Have you ever been to his house? Yeah, it's the, great. It's amazing, but the jacuzzi goes over into the. It's like a yeah. waterfall. Yeah, uh, a little yeah. waterfall goes in there. I mean, I like the time away from summer activities, but I just can't stay on the cold. Yeah, I, I like it. a nice winter jacuzzi, uh, which I'll occasionally go outside and get in the old jacuzzi in the winter. Do you like that in Aspen, where you could jack off in front of girls? <laughs> yeah, that used to be like a big thing, where you could just go in there and be like, under the surface, you got this boner that nobody knows about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I uh, no, no, I'll still. <laughs> I mean, that's do it. what he should have done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get, I can't get a fucking rod in the jacuzzi. I mean, I've gotten turned on briefly, but I can't do anything really sexual in the jacuzzi. The water doesn't turn me on. I've, Water's I've, a bitch, man. I've done it once, but the weird thing is like. 
the vagina just like like it's like a water balloon. It just fills <laughs> up to where it's like you're not doing anything. No, it's just such you're, a weird feeling. You're like pumping water into <laughs> it. <laughs> it really is, man. And and you, the, the lubrication's gone. Gone. So yeah. you get this. Well, I'm used to that. <laughs> <laughs> this real weird like push pull thing. Like a worn squeegee from a homeless guy. Yeah. <laughs> just, just pushing yeah. Like it a in. like an old windshield wiper. <laughs> <laughs> It's skipping half it's, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. wet. You can't see. <laughs> smells like fish. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't fuck in the water ever. I don't like it. Yeah, it's it, it's one of those things that is supposed to be so romantic and yeah. cool and and stuff, and it's just it doesn't work. It's hot in the old movies and stuff. It's not good. I I remember a girl wanted to fuck on uh in the ocean. Uh, on vacation down in like the Bahamas and stuff, and it, I'm like, there's no fucking way I'm pulling my dick out. I watch TV, I see nature yeah. shows. The, the, <laughs> a male dick is exactly like food <laughs> <laughs> to, to those fish and Jim. <laughs> 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 it's, <laughs> it's just bait. It's just they should have a jaws with Jim just swimming through the ocean waiting for guys to pull the dick out. It's awful. <laughs> you get the sense, just like uh-huh. <laughs> I would. I would never try to fuck in the water like that. It's just too many. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Salt water in your mouth, just fucking yeah, awful. Yeah. Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the yeah. male dick, as opposed yeah. to yeah, no, it I just, understand the male dick. Yes, <laughs> no, it just it just does it. It kind of hangs there like a like bait. Yeah, it's not, it's just not a sexy feeling. Being in the water nah. is not a sexy feeling. It just doesn't feel good. It doesn't turn me on. No. What yeah. are the least yeah. sexual places you guys have tried to bone? Pool. Mm. Crib. <laughs> <laughs> The morgue. <laughs> uh, my grandmother's hospital bed. <laughs> the Shriners Hospital. <laughs> Sloan Kettering. <laughs> the veterinarian. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm too self-conscious and paranoid that I'm going to be caught. But there was something cool yeah. years ago about outside, like the woods, uh-huh. like outside. For Long Island, that's like a thing. You'd go into the woods, drink, smoke a little weed, and then fuck your girl. Uh, in that's, the woods. That's kind of how it worked yeah. in the woods. Uh, like up against a tree or something. Because it was weird. You're outside. Up against you know? a tree? Were you the fucking Paradise Lost documentary? Up <laughs> <laughs> <Like> the bark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up, up, up against a, uh, a tree. I don't know. There was something about the woods which was kind of s- dirty and sexy and naughty. There was yeah, yeah, thing. like no someone could be watching or something. But I don't like that. I, some people get off on on. Oh, I think we could be being watched. I don't fucking want that. I don't either. No, uh, it's yeah. creepy. Occasionally, I'll do it like in a hotel room way up high, where like yeah, let them watch us. You leave the yeah. windows open. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah. way up top. Can you keep a ride if you think people are watching? Only. Really? Yeah. I don't like uh, it. It's a problem. <laughs> you like, you're a real exhibitionist. No, 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 no. I'm joking. The only way I could keep a rod is if I was in a hotel shooting out of the Mirage. No, it was uh, Mandalay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, that's right. You're not referencing the tragedy. You're saying a new oh, one. Oh, <laughs> a new one. Right, right. I... <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I can't be watched having sex. One time it's I was weird. in Vegas, and I, I forget the girl I picked up at the pool or whatever it was, and I was in the room, and fucking Dice wanted to watch. Oh, Jesus. No so him and Kenny and Happy Face. Oh, come on. Once in a while when I would do the Venetian with them, Dice would get me a suite. They would sometimes have an extra suite and they would just upgrade the opener. <laughs> yeah. It was just once like once every three appearances I would get a fucking suite. So the suite had two entrances through like you go through the bathroom and peek in the bedroom or from the main living room area <laughs> oh, get to the bathroom. So those guys <laughs> would hang out in the living room. I'd take the girl in the bedroom and then they'd sneak in the bathroom and watch. And I remember not being able to keep a rod as I was fooling around there because I saw them peeking in. Oh, man. Would they like, make faces at you and stuff and try to like get your attention? Dice would always want to ruin it. Yeah, yeah. I remember me and Dice <laughs> listening to Man Cow get uh, laid. We were just sitting there fucking uh-huh. nose to nose with our ear. And I'm like, this is... What, what's on my dick? Uh, hey, it's turd. <laughs> I got turd on my dick. I've said that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turd. <laughs> 
But she, but uh, this man came was fucking this girl. And this is many, many years ago. Me and Dice are just nose to nose. It was the weirdest. That's we, odd. Yeah, it was after. We did two nights at, a, at this theater in Chicago. And I'm like, is he going to try to kiss me? It just got so. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't. <laughs> uh, this is getting me turned on. <laughs> oh, no, hey, hey, Jimmy, come here. Grab my yam bag. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, come here. Give us a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wa- watching. Uh, watching. Like you like said the voyeuristic thing yeah but i, I like watching watching yeah. is hot man but yeah. i don't i i don't like watching a guy fucking a girl like i would love watching a girl just masturbating herself on a bed or something you don't like watching like, a guy and a girl fuck nah I, Dude, I don't know i was on the way home t- uh, 2 months ago and i passed on the ground floor someone with their window open just fucking <laughs> Yeah, it's and one was riding a say. guy and i walked by and it was gra- so i was like what the hell i walked past again but, and then I just went across the street and sat in a stoop and pretended to be in my phone. Like a creep. Yeah, just, just yeah. kept looking at it. Because I figured if I was far enough away, no one would catch but me. But then again, they might, you know, if you if you leave your window, what they call expectation of privacy, if you leave your window open on the first floor, first yeah. floor like you you kind of want people, that would freak me out because I'd be first someone's going to yeah. come back and rape my girl. It would freak me out so much. There was one time, oh. though, yeah. me, and, me and Jimmy actually fucked our, perspe- our, our girls yeah. uh, in a limo once. Remember that? Oh my limo? god, was, we did fuck around. I, I don't think I fucked. It was on the way home from, uh, from Sam's, Sam's wedding. wedding. I couldn't get a rod. <laughs> Anthony was a fucking animal. <laughs> Anthony was a fucking face in the neck animal. <laughs> I fooled around. Did she might have sucked my dick or I might have eaten her oh, pussy? Jesus. But I'm a terrible. I would I'm in trouble with that. Dude, I'm a terrible fuck. The worst experience of my life was watching Florentine fuck a girl <laughs> while I, I was wearing all black. I said I was dressed like the preacher from Poltergeist 2. <laughs> and I'm eating her pussy while Florentine is giving her like a literally a porno grade fuck. <laughs> but I forgot Anthony in the limo. Me and the other girl, with, who, who, she actually just texted me recently. Oh, really? I might have been eating her pussy or she might have sucked my dick. Yeah, she I and think I she were was giving newer, you a blowjob. Did she I and leave I were my newer. earrings in the car? What's that? Did I leave my earrings in the car those years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I just I can't find them. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. We were a newer couple. I don't think I was fucking her at that point. Oh, okay. And, and Anthony, I remember the girl, and she was yeah, straddling you. Yeah, she's a skirt, yeah. And straddling you. And oh, oh, oh. The old <laughs> pull the fucking panties aside thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I could get my... My cock out. <laughs> <laughs> you ever put on a pair of panties? All kidding aside, it feels good. But I was watching. Anthony was giving her a pretty good fuck. It was, that was it, a impressive. good one. That was fun. A nice, you know, you you, you work the the limo suspension. Oh, nice. You gotta work with it. I'd probably stop with my girl and be like, "Hey, look at look at look at his technique over there. That's what's going on over there." It's, uh, yeah, it was uh, your typical sitting. That's right. She straddled and then the you, straddling that way, kind of face to face thing. That was it worked out well. Yeah, she had that big flowing dress on or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a was... wedding thing, so we were all dressed up and everything. I, I Sam's it, wedding. I... <laughs> it was a fun <laughs> wedding too. <How> disrespectful. <laughs> I was at the um, uh, Friars Club at Dice's Kids Bar Mitzvah, and my girl was like, oh. "Let's go upstairs," and I was like, "Yeah." For Who sure. are you, wow. fucking Sonny and Lucy in the bathroom? <laughs> 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 you took her, where'd you fuck her? I know, there was like abandoned rooms upstairs. We went exploring and she was like, let's go. I'm like, yeah, Ari, let's what? Go. What do you want? <laughs> yeah. Pop wants to see you. <laughs> uh, and I love that he just stays there and listens to the door. Oh, yeah, Remember, gives a little smirk. <laughs> in the book, in the book, Sonny had a giant dick. And fucking, really? uh, that's why, you see in the movie, when there's a that's moment why he's always doing it. where yeah. Sonny is missing and the wife is doing this, like opening her hands, like oh, how big yeah, his dick is, and yeah. she turns and looks and he's not in his seat and she knows he's fucking that woman. Yeah. In the book, oh. Sonny had a giant dick and that woman, Lucy, who was fucking in the bathroom, had went through this whole thing because her pussy was bigger than a normal pussy and she could take his dick. And that was why they were having this <laughs> whole fucking affair oh but sunny was an animal just made him more of a fucking yeah uh, yeah yeah alpha <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah sam's wedding was actually really good i mean not for poor jess but <laughs> i mean for, <laughs> but uh sam's wedding was it was one of the best weddings I've yeah ever that was to. that was a lot of fun man why, that was why? i honestly have to really say opie's time. wedding was the best one i've ever been to that was the best overall wedding experience i had a great time at opie's wedding his I, wedding i was went inc- to atlantic city <laughs> <laughs> you, see, yeah, you did anthony you did bail early and, i got in trouble and you also had no gift <laughs> yeah the, to this day but but the actual ceremony was the best I've ever been to. Uh, uh, Gnome's wedding from the Comedy Cellar was fucking amazing. Yeah. And Sam had an amazing wedding. A couple, of, when you do something different at a wedding, when it's not the same old yeah, shit, yeah, it's, it's yeah. fun. It's a great party. Some old shit's lame. You should just have somebody you know That's marry you. Horrible. The Tom Papa married Lenny Marcus. <laughs> wow. Well, well, <laughs> well, he was the, in the, at the ceremony. He was the guy yeah. who did it. Robert Kelly got Joe List. 
Joe List and Sarah. Joe List them. is uh, oh, wait, Bob yeah. Kelly's able to marry people. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Why you know, do people do that? Like I know my sister can do that, and she's married a few a few people, but like it's almost like a side business. Yeah. I don't know. I would have Tom do it. if I did if I got married. I would have Tom do it. Papa. Yeah, or or Bob. Ke- I would have a friend do it because to me it's just it seems less phony. Than this, than a priest doing. I'm like, what are you gonna give me a real ceremony? I want a fun ceremony. You, want to be you, should, get, you should get Dude. a random street hooker. Get her, <laughs> get her, fuck it, or start him, whatever you want to call it. Just to kind of come in and read, but she would yeah. know wouldn't be legal in the state, or I would. You got your uh, rings. Yeah, dude, you know what, dude? <laughs> you fucking got your ring, you got your love, you got your commitment. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you know, anyone that thinks this uh, union shouldn't be, you know, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, come on, dude, stand up. Yeah, I don't know if I can have Bob do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't be all schmarmy, just stand up. <laughs> <laughs> what is he trying to like get uh, the tax deduction for riot cast as a church? <laughs> I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Can see church of Bob. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I would have Tom do it. I would I would have Tom or, or Bob Kelly or somebody I know do it or, or fucking Modi, one of my comedian friends. You know, just somebody who it would be more fun that well, way. It, uh, obviously, wouldn't be in a Catholic church. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, Modi is a, uh, a, a Jewish guy. Jewish fella. Modi would be a perfect <laughs> priest. <laughs> <laughs> How about the guy? Who's the guy who the fucking anti-gay lawmaker who just got? Uh, oh, he I got snagged. Those. I love those. Got caught mm. fucking a dude. Not got caught being gay. Got caught with his dick in a butt. Oh, was he actually fucking yeah. when they walked? In? Who yeah. walked in on him? How do you fucking not uh, kind of work that out so no one's walking in on you? Yeah, anti-gay you, uh, Ohio state lawmaker was all oh, over Craigslist looking for encounters with other men. Encounters. Well. He, uh, I wonder if he thought he'd get out of it first. Like, no, encounters could mean. Oh, no. That, that could mean me. anything. Yeah. Well, okay, fuck <laughs> yeah, it. Well, that's a good okay. When you look at his face, you're like, wow, I can't believe this guy was having homosexual encounters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and he, he was, uh, what kind of anti gay laws was he? Uh, I can't you know, pro LGBT. Traditional marriage and all that shit. Yeah, what is a gay lawmaker, mm. anti gay lawmaker? I guess he's just voting against gay marriage. And I don't know if it was his. Uh, I don't know if it was just his constituency or if he was like one of these right, right, one of these was... guys that uh, 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 he's he doesn't like looking at it because he loves doing it. Yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> he wants to be the only one doing it. Otherwise, yeah, it's yeah, something, something he got like caught that. with his dick in an ass. How embarrassing! Wow. Who walked in and what did you say? <laughs> hey, where's your dick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this guy's hiney. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you hear like. That's sound, that sound, you know. It's like, oh no, <laughs> you're in trouble. You're in Dutch. <laughs> How embarrassing is it when, like, is there a moment when somebody walks in and you're fucking a guy in the ass and you're like, I'm an anti-gay lawmaker, yeah. <laughs> and you both look at the guy, like, who, like, who walked in that blabbed it? What do you go like, ah, ah, and then try to explain yeah, why sh- you had your dick oh, in a, a man's ass? You shuffle your papers real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Oh no, for yeah. sure it is. It's exactly sure it what it looks, it looks like. like. You're fucking a guy in the ass. Oh, I stand corrected. It is what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> a flash of badge out. I'm like, it's not. It's okay. I'm an anti gay lawmaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was happening? Like, what, who walked in? I'm guess it was somebody at the office. But they said it wasn't somebody he worked with. It was probably just some guy. He. How do you pick a guy up off Craigslist and have him come to your place of work? Maybe is that just easier than because you can't because your your home has got your wife in it? Yeah, so, maybe. They, was he married? I think so. so That's it. fuck. I was in Dallas with my friend Justin opening for me, and he went on cr- Grinder to find one dude. By the time that guy came through, he'd already figured out another guy. And then the first guy like said, "Hey, I'm available too." He goes, "Well, I already got somebody, but you, you want to come over and like make a threesome?" Jesus. He was like, "Yeah, okay." And the first guy, the second guy, was like, "Sure, yeah, all right." And they had a threesome at 2 p.m. on a Wednesday. Just ruining the sheets in the hotel room. <laughs> oh, God. They said the maid wouldn't talk to her. <laughs> talk, talk to her for the rest of the week. Because he fucking blew loads all over the sheets. Blew, blew fucking I'm ass sure loads and just shit. Just shit, and just shit everywhere. Yeah. Oh, and then just put the sheets oh, outside. Just brown terrible. and white. <laughs> oh, is that bad? <laughs> now, was he, uh, was he a guy who's promiscuous? Yeah. He, he <laughs> got to it. the point where his boyfriend asked him, like, listen, I get it. Just wow. don't give me AIDS. Was his only rule, right? And and then Justin was like, "I'll do the best I can." <laughs> I can't promise. <laughs> yeah, I can't Holy promise. shit! Does he get late? I guess Grinder, you're getting late all the time on the fucking. Uh... Yeah, gay dudes just decided fuck it, fuck that whole AIDS thing. I don't think I I could get it. Yeah, I, th- I really think they 
They were petrified for a while there. Watsky is a father. Uh, there's prep. There's drugs with prep, so you don't get it. And then there's the one that so was, you don't get it. You're immune. I don't know if you're immune, but it's supposed to like cut it down like nine nine percent. And then there's the one that you can't give it. Where, which is what Charlie oh. Sheen, I think, said he was on, where your count is like zero, you can't detect, makes it undetectable. I forget what that's called, but you can... Oh. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, where you can like have it and almost not pass it. So is that's that... why in California it's not even a felony to not tell people, which it should be a felony. Wow, really? Yeah, that's crazy. A they felony. Passed, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they passed a law that said uh, it's uh, not a felony anymore if you have sex with somebody and don't tell them that you have AIDS. AIDS. You probably should have to tell someone. Get the I would old think hit. so. At least after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least on the way out the door. I the think, way. Yeah. yeah. Aim the other way if you sneeze. I should probably say something. <laughs> oh, by the way, I think you're going to say something. You're talking to the guy. You're doing the scene, the guy on the way out. Oh, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might want to go for the old test uh, Oh, before I leave, uh, next month or two, try to stay healthy. Did I tell you anything? Yeah, I thought I told around. you. What? I thought I told you that. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. I thought I told you. Did I not? I thought I t- I feel like oh. I feel like I remember though. If you told me, I feel like I remember that. Are you? Hey, are you worried about all this shit that's been coming out about people? And everyone's saying this guy, this guy with the harassment, the allegations, or I mean, some of the college rapes I've had. You know, I worry about a little bit. <laughs> nah, like, those guys will be embarrassed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. No, I mean yes and no. I, I feel like there's there's things that like like. If they want to just change the tone and not change the facts. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, changing the tone. Then I can be like, yeah, "Yeah, I can get in trouble for a couple things. But uh, changing facts or leaving a fact or two out, I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure. They could get me if they wanted to. But if if somebody went with the facts, then you go. Well, like I was on uh, the Guys We Fuck podcast and I uh, got a vasectomy. So I was like. I was like talking about it and like, how is it? I'm like, good. I'm like, I still got a fucking hole in my ball. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah. And I showed them. You you show your balls to everyone. Yeah, exactly. But if they wanted to be like. He exposed himself. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Like, you didn't really change the effect. You're right. Uh, yeah, there's a different tone, though. Showing you a fucking scar. Yeah. Do you come less, though? Do your load small? I think I asked you this. Do your load smaller or no? I don't think so. It tastes the same. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I don't, I don't, I don't Are you a self suck? <laughs> you just got to blow them into tinier hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just shoot up in an arc, like that little yeah. basketball game in the water at the dentist's office. Where you push. I remember that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Do your taste roll come? Yeah, for sure. And? You know, usually pretty good. <laughs> Isn't it Try weird? It feels my diet. You're fucking, it's all metallic and horrible. <laughs> your taste your own load? Come on. I've uh, gone down on girls after I've shot loads in them. What a a good egg. But with, I, I don't go in and dig in. <laughs> uh, I, I really do stick to the external part of it, but you'll taste some of it. Of course you will. That, so. Big boys on cleanup duty. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with getting down there and cleaning up your mess. You were raised right. <laughs> uh, that was shit from uh, like years ago when anything just, it, you're so fucking turned on. Oh, about yeah. everything that just anything goes. So you'd, you'd uh, yeah, I've had yeah. a couple of girls try to sit on my face. It's one of the few things I can't get into. Is really? It, is really sucking a pussy after I come? Yeah, I just like oh, after you no, come. Yeah, no, once no. I come, I'm back to reality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and the that's... reality is like no, I don't want to suck my cum out of you. Yeah, it doesn't anything. taste good. Yeah, it doesn't taste good. It's just really, it is amazing. Right after that happens, you're just like, yeah, that's we're done here. I'm completely finished. Everything I just said is is not true. <laughs> right. I and thought it was. I thought I loved you, yeah. but I don't. Even I... to myself, like even to me, I thought we, you know, let's just do this all night. Fuck you. The second you get, it's like, yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. All I think night, I'm gonna I catch it. Where's the remote? Do you have the remote? It's. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I always have to make her come first because as soon as I oh, come, yeah. I'm finished. I have no desire. Like, I literally, I'm, I'm fucking making excuses up. Like, oh, my fucking back. Like, my back doesn't hurt. I just don't want to touch her. <laughs> Finished. I wish a woman would just be like, I'm going to go take a shower for about 45 minutes. Like, right afterwards. Like, yeah, yeah. And oh, then, yeah. Come back later. And you'll be fast asleep when she gets back in. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's better okay. than that. Movies on TV. You're falling asleep to it. There's an occasional nice. woman, especially in New York, where it's like, as soon as you're done, they're like, hey, pat on the shoulder. Like, see you later. Wow. Like, wow, what? I never had that in L.A. In New York, it's like a bunch. Where do you meet wow. them? On the apps or are there girls you know? No, just people I meet or like, uh, yeah, on Twitter, Instagram or something. Never the mm. never Tinder or anything. Did you ever hook up with, did you ever date comedians? I know you dated Natasha, right? Did you ever, uh-huh. did you ever date other comedians or you never did? I've hooked up with a, a few. A few here and there, yeah. 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 Never. never really? really? No, but not be, not for any reason. It's just, yeah. You know, just never, never had that energy with them. It's yeah. probably their choice. All right, fine. <laughs> I get it. It's fun. You get to talk about the same shit and you see them at shows. 
I don't know, it just happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they got a weird, uh, it's very hard to just have a rap with a, a female comic. Because I think the thing that makes me special doesn't make me special around a female comic. Oh, Like, the right. thing that makes me uh, special is that I'm funny and I have an interesting job. But Extra chromosome. <laughs> 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 You're yeah. more special than you think, That's Jim. special. <laughs> there is that, yeah. <laughs> the comb the hairdo forward. Yeah. <laughs> Your tail you've shaved down. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, I, the, the it doesn't make me special around a female comic. They're, yeah. they're like it's they, there's no there's no magic to me around a female comic. They see that, yeah. They yeah. understand how all the tricks are done, so it's like it doesn't mean anything. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Like someone who's who's not a comedian is like, oh, he's a funny guy and he does that for a living and it's interesting. But around another comic, she's like, mm -hmm. I feel bad for women sometimes. When it's like we break up and they're like, but you were so fun. And I was like, no, I've been fun before. This is kind of uh, lame. I and can then be I'm like, really fun. Who yeah. do you normally date? <laughs> yeah, that my, that my like C plus was like great for you. <laughs> yeah, what do the guys normally yeah. do that you? Uh, yeah, are, I, it's probably the, like. probably the stuff they talk about. Probably the stuff they talk about. They're not funny guys. They're not interesting yeah. guys. They don't know how to make fun of things. I, some woman told me you ruined me. She goes, you ruined me. Like I go out to restaurants with guys, and they try to be funny to the waiter, and it's it's it makes me angry. Oh, that's how unfunny be. they are. How unfunny they are because they're doing like chip like puns and not oh. understanding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're a joke. Yeah, that's yeah, that's got to be pretty bad when you're saddled with someone that thinks they're really funny and they're not. They're not. Oh, and they believe me, I know. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I love, yeah. I, love, I love making a joke to a waiter or something and they don't get it at all. Where it's like, hey, this dish is really hot. Be careful. And you're like, grab it with my face. And like, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, don't. Like, no, 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 what are you doing? Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. boy. Yeah, we, we were through that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get the joke. <laughs> we're purposefully. Oh. I like to bomb. Oh, here, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, many times. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> we're, we're, I like purposely bombing in front of a waiter just to make the, whoever I'm with uncomfortable. It is. I've been victim to that. When Jimmy does that, it's so embarrassing. You feel compelled to explain like, well, immediately to the waiter who he is and why he's doing this. And, no, he's an asshole. And then you just Without. look like a shithead. Or just like, not even doing like, chip. Well, give me some. Give me, give me. I did it with Kelsey. I mean, Kelsey were on the road. I did something with her. Um, like just something like like the the food will come. And uh, like I eat most of it, and uh, just to say to the waitress, like she'll come over and I'll be like, uh, I didn't like it. I think there was a problem with the food, you know. Oh. And, 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 and but, just to know she's gonna be like, oh, yeah. she she politely laughs because yeah. you're tipping, and she's like, oh, and I, and I and I laugh and I ramp it up like, <laughs> you know, and it's oh, just yeah. so uncomfortable, it's so embarrassing. It's a terrible joke, and we know she doesn't want to laugh, but she has to laugh. And how many of those does she have to listen to every, every day? Every fucking and day. And Laugh. She's got to laugh like that, and oh fuck that. Yeah, you know, or, or I'll tell, or, or I'll say like, uh, like the waiter, waitress will be like, "Do you want some dessert?" And I'll point at Kelsey. And be like, nah, my wife tells me I'm looking like a fat pig, so I just can't. And then, she, <laughs> <laughs> and then instead of just going with it, she panics and she's like, "No, I don't say that." I'm like, "That was great improv." It really is the word. Well, uh, the elevator rides were were a nightmare with Jim Norton because you'd get in, yeah. and if you were the only two in the elevator. And and it stopped on a floor, and more people got in. He would start a conversation in the middle, like we were having a conversation, and be like, "No, it's not even a death sentence anymore. They have medicine. Don't worry, sweetie. Don't worry. We'll get through this." And I'm sitting there laughing, like, "No, he's it's yeah. it's uh. yeah." Or when you would act like you had some I... kind of a mental problem, and we would uh, we would uh, like call him an idiot. Yeah. Like, stop doing that. Oh, you're, you're so retarded. Me. That was the old Club Soda Kenny thing on the road with Dice. Yeah. Where me and Kenny used to... Act like it's hard. No, just, or just like I, I, I would have to act almost autistic because I would laugh because Kenny and everybody's character. We'd go to Starbucks and I would, I would just touch something and literally in a full <laughs> Starbucks, this is, you know, 1999, yeah. he would slap me in the face and go, Stop touching that! <laughs> <laughs> And nobody ever came to my defense because they were always afraid that this big fucking oh, yeah, he's mean guy, they didn't know what our relationship was. <laughs> the only time Dice got mad is we did it in the airport one time. 
And Dice got mad because we were really? in the airport. Yeah, Kenny was screaming at me a baggage claim. Uh-oh. Like I was talking to these couple of girls about coming, like, you guys want to come to the show? And uh, Kenny came over and slapped me in the face in oh, front of the girls. Sh- He's wow. like, stop talking to them. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it was so. <laughs> he probably fucking... thought security was going to throw you out or yeah, something. You know? it, was, it, not, it was just made me so happy. Yeah. It was so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> I love when you have shit like that. And even if you want to be like, no, no, uh, let me go back to talking to these girls. You're like, I have to play along. You I have to like, play I'm along. Sorry, sir. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. You yeah. can't go like Kenny, not now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't say not now. You got to just take it. <laughs> the the road it. hijinks, yeah. Should Al Franken leave? Mm. Leave? Yeah. Office? Yeah. For what? I agree. That story is done. <laughs> I've never seen a story uh, disappear so quickly from the news. What do you just mean? Just because he's, you know, who he is. He's uh, a, a very liberal uh, guy. And uh, the the networks and and some of the cable outlets that are more liberal, they just the story just went away. Yeah, they kind of gave him. I, I like gave Al Franken, so I don't mind it. Uh, but they gave him a bit of a break. The, the picture looks <laughs> bad, but it's like eh, it's through a flak jack. He's not really trying to fondle. Yeah, I don't think it was the fact that he. If that c- will stop could. a bullet. It'll stop his hands. <laughs> yeah, stop but I don't think it's the could or couldn't <laughs> make contact. It's that it, if he found that funny at all, that shows a. a Blatant disregard for a woman's. Uh, I get that. You, you know, so so uh, I think that was more of the problem than oh, the vest wasn't was too thick. Yeah, yeah for yeah, her kiss to be felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, get it, but like if I see like a like a statue like a the Michelangelo's David or something, and no one's taking, I'm like, oh, that show me like sucking his dick. Yeah. Like get get me a picture like uh, uh, uh yeah yeah yeah. You do right? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's a fucking idiot comic. It's funny every time. Yeah, like there's nobody I'm not gonna do that to. Anybody yeah. I know that's asleep. You think when like, he was carving something. that, he thought like people were gonna be doing that thousand years later. <laughs> trying yeah. to suck this just thing. trying to he suck. He would have made the them dick. bigger and, and hard if uh, he did. They're all <laughs> soft. Romans had tiny dicks. <laughs> They're all soft and droopy, and there's yeah, they don't even pass the scrotum. They all look like they just came. <laughs> 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 little baby dicks, <laughs> full balls, and a tiny little baby dick well, wrestling. Gravi- gravity was heavier then, so it just <laughs> yeah, maybe straight that's down. it. <laughs> They're all regal. They're not really particularly well muscled, and that stupid dick it never hangs past the balls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think it went away? You think this story went away? I feel like I'm still yeah, here. It's about still it. here, but it's not. It's not. It looks like he's gonna be okay. It's not like because when it's when it's somebody uh, on the right, uh, mainstream media will just keep pounding it, and pounding it, and demand yeah. that they are removed from office. The removal stuff. It's like I don't know. Like with Rory Moore, I'm like, here's a great time to not do anything because he's up for election yeah so people can decide yeah it, it really is kind of a uh, good example <laughs> they can here. all vote now they can vote if they believe it or don't believe it they'll vote accordingly yeah with like, and there you go with like when cosby was happening people were like we got to take down the cosby show the people didn't have any options so the network had to get involved I guess yeah was, but here it's just like if they say we don't care, then they'll vote him in. Then they'll vote him in. But if they vote him in, I hear there are people that won't even uh, they won't they'll remove him immediately. And the uh, Senate might do something. Yeah, the, the allegations are pretty strong. It doesn't look good. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Well, then people wouldn't vote for him, right? You know, I don't know. People, people. Uh, maybe I mean, they should have the right to, I guess. But if he's a possible, the Senate would want him as a possible. You know, <laughs> Alabama's possible pedo. a little weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are. Yeah, they might just look at yeah, it as an error in judgment. A little odd. Like, ah, there 16, is this. I, I've I've read some stuff that's just nuts about Hollywood and politicians and uh, that that pedophilia cabal that's supposedly going on oh, in yeah. Hollywood and everything. It's some crazy What's stuff. That? Like Corey uh, Feldman is oh, the club, about yeah, yeah, it. the club, yeah. and, and Corey uh, Haim was in it. You yeah, get passed around. Yeah, so just how much was membership? Passed around. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, well, that was a long time ago, Jim. <laughs> it, uh, there, there was supposedly a a group of. A very important men yeah. uh, that uh, were in the movies, and and they would uh, take these young boys and girls and have sex with them. Yeah. I and forget what was... it was called. The group, um... Soda Pop Club. The Soda Pop Club. Soda Pop Media. Club. <laughs> 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 yeah, the Soda Pop Club was a a, a club specifically for these uh, youngsters in Hollywood. But there are other stories like. Uh, 
There, there was one about <laughs> Heather. <laughs> Media. <laughs> there was one about Heather O'Rourke. Heather O'Rourke was the little girl from Poltergeist. Oh yeah. Who supposedly had been getting abuse since she was like five. Really? And then there was a show called Rocky Road that was on uh, in the eighties. It was one of the last appearances she had on a show, and uh, it was based on a beach kind of an atmosphere so the little kids could be put in bikinis without any suspicion oh. and they'd bring these executives in when these guest stars would come on and they would dance on a stage for these executives while they jacked off this no is all way. obviously alleged but where would they it's jack off together or in separate rooms sitting in a theater because the the studio they used to tape the show was the same studio they used for Jeopardy <laughs> so <laughs> it, it was full of the seats like a theater Jesus so people would sit in these seats and just jack off I'll to take these... a red baby wipe for 200 dollars <laughs> 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 Creeps. Oh, yeah. So, so that was supposedly what they did, and they then they took Heather O'Rourke uh, wherever they took these girls to physically assault them, uh, and it wound up causing so much scarring in her uh, bowels that she got intestinal <clears throat> blockage that ended up killing her. Uh, about a year later, she died at thirteen. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I thought she thought she was younger. Twelve. That was she. So wow. that that was. Uh, I've that, never heard that. That's one of the stories that are well. They're all making the rounds now. There's another story about uh, George out. Lucas. George Lucas. George Lucas. Uh, yeah. Well, this one is more. There's an interview with George Lucas. He talks about the script for uh, Indiana Jones, the first one, and there's a line where uh, the girl um, in it, who was um, a um, tough woman. Alan, Karen Allen, was that her name? Drinking the guys under the yeah, table. yeah, drinking uh -huh. the guys under the table. Says, uh, I was a child, I was in love. And he goes, you knew what you were doing. And, oh. and George Lucas talks about that. She was supposed to be 12 when they met, when he was in his like tw late 20s, early 30s. She was supposed to be a 12-year-old. That, that was the backstory? That was the backstory Whoa. that Lucas wanted to do and actually had written into Why? Uh, that. Man, and then they changed it. He was a moron, that guy. But then I, I'm, watching, I'm watching American Graffiti last night. Yeah. Uh, and and I hadn't heard anything about memories, this. memories, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was watching uh, American Graffiti. Good movie. Uh, George Lucas, of sure. course. And the coolest guy in the movie... Is uh, Milner the the race car guy? Yeah. He spends the whole movie driving around in a car with an eleven year old, wow. and there is some dialogue there that's a little weird. Why? So you think there might have been some underlying weird thing? Like George Lucas and and some of these Hollywood types are are putting their uh, wants and and needs into some of these movies. That's right. She was. Yeah. Who was that girl? Was she? Was, did she, was that Mackenzie Phillips? Yeah, Mackenzie. Oh, Phillips. okay. Yeah. Who, by the way, was fucked by her father. Yeah, John Phillips. John yeah. Phillips. Oh, yeah. And, and passed around yeah. uh, in the um, Hollywood and music community. Oh, oh, yeah. I didn't know she was, she was passed, yeah, passed so around she, by her dad? She, yeah. she went public with that. Crazy. It was like a known thing, but it, was too, it pre like predated all this. So but like, this is some of the real no, nutty shit. No, into the teenage shit. years. It post-dated it into the teenage yeah. years. This, she was really young here. In the, in the teenage years, they were fucking. Maybe, maybe oh. then, too. But as a teenager, she was yeah, fucking her dad. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really strange, but there it's all these things on uh, various you know 4chan and Reddit uh, it things. Wow, that that's that's a great are just nuts. The, all these weird connections with yeah. kids and movies. It had to be going on back then nonstop. When you uh, couldn't get caught, it had to right, be right. You couldn't get caught. Rampant. Nobody the, talked. Uh -uh. The parents just handed these kids over. Be nice to the man. Oh, God. <laughs> be damn. nice to the nice man. So I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, what else with George Lucas? I, I heard none of that. Uh, that. Well, those are the, the only one I heard was from Indiana Jones, but watching that last night, I'm like, he put the lead guy, well, you know, it's a huge ensemble cast, but the cool guy, the entire show. He's with a fucking 11-year-old girl What in was the car. point of that? Did they say why they were hanging out? Uh, yeah, well, he pulls up next to a car with chicks in it, and uh, he's trying to get one of the girls in his car. And uh, she goes, well, I'm going steady. How about you take this gir girl's sister? And then he goes, okay, because he couldn't see. And then the girl just runs out and hops in the car. And he's like, ah, what are you, 12 or something like that? But they spend the whole night together and kind of have fun. And, and he gives her a little trinket from his car and gives her a kiss on the cheek before she runs into the house and says how she feels like they're going steady. And you know, oh. it's just a weird, there's a little bit of sexual uh, energy there. Well, look at the professional. Yeah, yeah. Professional, yeah.
I thought oh, that right, was weird. Yeah. Wasn't that part of the script that they were fucking and they changed it a little bit? <laughs> How oh, I don't know. I usually shut it off when I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For, <laughs> thanks very much, Travis. <laughs> Travis just came in and grabbed my cock. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Travis says one of the most interesting things about Raiders of the Lost Ark is we have the transcript of the 78 meeting. Oh, yes. Uh, should we do the, uh, yeah, the, sure. the, the story uh, meeting? Uh, and then you go to the ideas behind Marion Ravenwood and how the two characters know each other. Yeah. So uh, I'll be uh, Lawrence uh, Kasdan. Do you want to be George Lucas? Uh, obviously, I'll be Spielberg. Oh, uh, yeah. You'd be, oh. yeah, you be Spielberg. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> Um, I like it if they already had a relationship at one point because then you don't have to build it. I was thinking uh, that this old guy could have been his mentor. Uh, he could have known this little girl when she was just a kid, had an affair with her when she was 11. And he was 42. He hasn't seen her in 12 years. Now she's 22. It's a real strange relationship. She better been older than 22. <laughs> <laughs> Not got some good Spielberg. Uh, he's 35, and he knew her 10 years ago when he was 25, and she was only 12. Uh, it would be amusing <laughs> to make her slightly young at the time. And promiscuous. She came on to him. 15 is right on the edge. I know it's an outrageous idea, but it is interesting. She's uh, Once she's 16 or 17, it's not interesting anymore. But if she was 15 and he was 25, they actually had an affair the last time they met. And uh, she was madly in love with him. And he... She has pictures of him. That now was, that uh, was the transcript from the uh, one of the for script real? meetings. That's for real, yeah, but yeah, you know, but yeah. you don't know, but you don't know the tone of it. Again, it might have been creepy, you know or it might have been, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, she came on to him like like this being assholes. Well, uh, in the, what thing. ended up in the movie was her saying, "I was a child, I was in love," and and he goes, "You knew what you were doing." So there's this. It is. It does exist. Kind of thing. They ca They wanted to cast a younger girl than her. Who? who uh, who's in that? Than Karen Allen, because uh, if you take ten years off of her, she was maybe thirty at the time. So yeah, she's she was twenty. Quite tough. Um, yeah. yeah. So who knows? But it's just a weird. Like that's, yeah, that's a good point. That's an odd fucking thing to say. Let's take our our hero. Yeah, Our weird, movie hero, and say it. he was fucking a an eleven year old when he was twenty five. Is it an excuse to get to do flashbacks to get kids on the set, or like with Mackenzie Phillips? Oh, is it like, hey, this will be a reason to keep her around, and it does kind of work in the story? I mean, you know, in Hollywood, they do want just like people they like on set. They they think of a reason yeah, to yeah. extend your character. You know, I think, they like you. I think uh, the ki the kids on set, especially during the '80s, a lot of those kids shows yeah. is what they they've been uh, talking about on a lot of these uh, message boards and whatnot. That uh, it was just out of hand. Yeah, they would they would put they would make shows that were specifically kid uh, oriented as far as the cast goes and yeah. the guest stars that they would pull on, whether the show sucked or not, it would get picked up. Just so these guys could have a place to jerk off and and sexually assault and meet kids. Uh, wow, kids. Yeah, that seems to be uh, to what be. was going on. It had to be. I and mean, I, I'll go back to a club to a city that's not that good or doesn't pay me well. If there's some chick there that fucks me, <laughs> I'd be like, hey, put put Indianapolis back in my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, Nobody likes that club. It's like, no, no, it's it's good, it's good. <laughs> I so of course they would do the same shit. I went to Akron, Ohio to fuck once, please. Really? <laughs> I would never, I've never been back. I had never been there before. You hopped on a plane? Yeah. I've hopped on planes for pussy before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're the like plane, uh, the plane to pussy. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's how you know you really want to fuck somebody when when you actually go through security yeah. at the yeah. fucking airport. <laughs> You're like, God damn, I must want to blow a load with this person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you only do it once? I remember. Uh, I remember. No, maybe two times. Maybe two times I did. I remember the person. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. Oh, it's calling you and telling you she's on her way. Uh, yeah. Oh Christ, that's up. right. No, at his oh, house. Oh. No, she wound up. Yeah, because we were done, and then she wound up showing up. She drove from Akron to my house. Really? And she's like, "I'm in your driveway." <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, like this... a good surprise, but you're like, "That's awful." This is good. Yeah, I called. I took called Anne. I told wow. her, "Dude, she's on." Uh, thanks. Well, she's you way. are gonna have to leave. Right after you blow me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should blow you? No, I, 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 I know. That's the worst. Take a 12-hour trek to get there. And yeah. Like, That's good. Beat it. 
No, she got a little uh, clingy, as they say. Yeah, some people clingy. do. Clingy. Yeah. Some people do, right? They get a bit. Oh yeah, yeah. A bit Crazy. attached at the hip. Yeah. And uh, it's like, no, this was not what it was. And then what do you do? You yeah. Know? Keep fucking him. I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak. Back. I'm weak. I know how many. What fucking weakness? <laughs> they to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Bad lieutenant. What do you think of uh, now? There's that fucking speed of JFK. There's that fucking now. They're saying that uh, did Jack Ruby say that there was? Uh, he said, "Watch he the fireworks." Kids. What's that? He fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on a strip club or something? <laughs> yeah. Jack Ruby. Yeah, he was a bag man for the Dallas mob. I'm just quoting the movie. <laughs> yeah. He um. He made an unsafe work environment for women. <laughs> he did. He really was. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Thank God he's passed away because he would be uh, <laughs> dragged through the mud publicly. No, they said he uh, said watch the fireworks just hours before Kennedy's assassination. No, was he talking about that or something else? I don't know. What? What was Jack Ruby? Oh, he said watch the fireworks. Yeah. Well, what before does that the mean? assassination. Oh. Like he might have known something was going to happen. He made comments on the morning oh. of the JFK's assassination mm. to an FBI informant that suggested he knew something was going to happen. He was eventually, okay. I hate when they say what he did. Yeah. Like on the TV, they're saying cult leader Charles Mann. We know. Yeah, we we fucking know. Cult leader. Two days later, uh, okay. They're, not, they're just saying he said, watch the fireworks. I don't, when did, oh. when did it get shot? What, what, what month was it? November. November? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. When did JFK get shot? November. Oh, really? Yeah, I, wanted, I figured the date, November 22nd. Was oh. it 22nd? Yeah, November 22nd, 1963. Place in car, light head, get away. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the fireworks. <laughs> like a mortar. <laughs> uh, this is a very good one. Right the Kennedy head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just fizzles out on the trunk. <laughs> Light head. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's like one of those things that you've those things that you put in the street. You light it up and it just goes right to Parkland Memorial. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, well, you know, oh, is that from some of the new stuff that came out? Yeah, one of the ones that. Uh, and they said it was really, really heavily, heavily redacted in the old things. But, oh, like black oh, no, wait, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of something else. Um, I hate that redacted how, shit. That stinks. How do they get away with just, like, not releasing all of it? Yeah. I don't, like, uh, national you, security they you, use a lot. What's still going on from and six that, right. years exactly. ago? Exactly. Yeah. Why can't they tell us what people said, what they saw? You know, they don't I, want us to know what scumbags the government is. Yeah, yeah no shit. It's probably not even said. Like, one guy raised the point. Or maybe incompetent or something. Incompetent. Like, if you're the kid of, of, of family members who helped, like, our country against Castro, and you still have family in Cuba. Like, all right, there's certain things where your family may have helped the U.S., and yeah. you still have living family members in those countries, and the government might hurt your surviving family. Then you might uh, want to name yeah, names. Exactly. Then you don't want to name names. Name or names. All right. All right, take out a name. Yeah, exactly, but that's it. That's it. I mean, like, when you, whenever you hear something and you're like, well, you don't know, maybe the government needs to yeah. security. Has anything like that ever come up, like, 20 years later? Like, okay, now I that's know, passed, right? Here's what we couldn't tell you. I don't know. I I, no, I, th nothing, I think it happened. Never an excuse. I think it happened exactly like they said it did <laughs> in the um, JFK got shot. Yeah, yeah, that's one magic loogie. I don't even think <laughs> JFK ever existed. I oh, think really? Yeah, that's, 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 that's right. That yeah. is really President taking Idlewise. it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, what? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the new Chip Chipperson podcast is up. By the way, it's an odd one. God, dude, who's, I've, done uh, that, who's I've, done that, I've done that guy's show. He's an awful host. Yeah. Oh, my God. He is terrible. Very have, hard to work with. If you ever asked any, you got to go on there. Fuck yeah, it. he's I'm very... You, he's difficult ready. to work with, but I I, I have uh, feelings. Uh, that I like doing the show. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think I'm taping uh, this week. Tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow night. Taping, yeah. yeah. I'll be taping. But I missed Sunday. Who was on? Uh, it was uh, Sam came on and Will Sylvance, who people love. Oh, my yeah. God. Will Sylvance is perfect on it. And Christina... <laughs> Was not available, uh, so Liz from the Comedy Cellar came on. I think that oh, was awesome. it. And um, yeah, Christina, people love. She's great on it. But yeah, yeah, you know, she's when people good. are not available, she was doing something on a Christina? film set. His new girlfriend, Christina Palumbo. No, she uh, she liked uh, she she works here, and she used to work on Jay Thomas's show. Yeah. And Bobo, I've tried to get on, but apparently he doesn't give a shit about being around her anymore. He won't come on the show. Yeah, what? he really is a I don't weirdo. Know. Bobo has standards. Yeah, yeah, he won't come on the show. He does. Oh I don't know God. why he doesn't like Chip. He has but standards. I know Chip and Bobo are going to go to war. <laughs> it's gonna get you want to go to war? It's going to get fucking ugly. <laughs> that uh, Will is hilarious. I love him on, on the show. That show because what does he do? like 
Chip loves Will because Will will say the dumbest shit yeah. I've ever heard. He's free. Him and Chip just see eye to eye. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's silly on it. And Chip just compliments him constantly, tells him how he should be on every show, and he's just great. Yeah, so the new one's up. It's a weird one, but I liked it. I like when they're a little weird. They have no flow. Once in a while, you need that. That's what that's what he is. It's great. Chip's not an anti-hero. He has I, no flow. He stinks. I, 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 I love it. How many have you done? I want to say 30. Can we go to Riotcast YouTube? Uh, uh. I want to say 32 or 33. That's great. It's fun to do. Mass yeah. murderer, cult leader, Charles Manson. They ought to add two things in. Is he technically a mass murderer? No, Riot cast what's, YouTube. What's mass? How do you? What do you get to mass? I, I guess a lot of people. But but uh, t you know, again, he didn't murder those people. Yeah, he, just uh, had, he, else he do had people do it. Oh, so I don't know if that makes you a mass murderer. Thirty stupid hats. What's wrong with the hats? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> ah, chips hats. Yeah, those are so every bad. Time. Yeah, what's wrong oh. with them? They're fucking nothing wrong with that. I think because I mentioned it, somebody made a montage of your hats falling off. Oh, did they? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like an awesome. Yeah, they do come off once they in a while. They come off a lot. That means hats. somebody, some poor soul, had to go over every episode and watch every, in wait, a row wait to get for the right. Your hat to come off and watch your hat come off. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take, I want to eat something. We'll, Ooh, we'll come back. Yes. And I want Denny to come in. I thought Denny was going to be in the Denny whole show. Denny Falcone? Yeah, but he won't. Uh, I guess he's the fucking way to be invited. What? So uh, we're hanging with Ant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's not allowed to come in unless I invite him in. Yeah. 